And I'll hold it with... Do you know what? I might just do a massive... A massive swing round and just cut that lot off. It would make so much more sense, wouldn't it? Should have jumped away. It would make a lot more sense rather than doing some hugely... It would look super impressive if I could do the whole lot in one go. But I think the logistics are trying to do that are way over-optimistic. So uh, I don't think I'm going to do it. But yes, taking a huge chunk of the enemy out there, I think would be super effective. So we've got mechanized stuff coming in, which is excellent. We've got cavalry coming in, which is also excellent. Should have jumped away. Make sure there's at least one behind everywhere whilst the reinforcements come in. The mechanized stuff is way outpacing the cavalry. Should have jumped away. And we need to decide whether we go ahead with everything now. I'm trying to think where where could I get the good cut off? That's a big force, but I can have 24 divisions come... Well, there won't be 24 because of the frontages. I'm going to do this. And I'm also... Going to do this. And we're going to try and attack this from three, maybe four sides. Wish me luck here, folks, because this is going to be... Slightly risky. So I'm going to open the attack with these. Yeah, they're getting... Wait till those are in place. And we're in, but we're under attack. Let's go for it. We can throw the cavalry in later. Right, leave one division. Right, that's a huge, huge fight where these guys are almost totally surrounded. It's looking good. And we are in. Excellent. I say we're in. We're having to rely on the speed of infantry divisions to get in there. So they could potentially be reinforced, but yeah, they are as well. That's fine. That's fine. That's the cutoff that we needed. Afghanistan's capitulated from that. Okay, that's worked a lot better than expected. And it's also destroyed my front lines entirely. So this is going to require some tidying up, which, which is fine. We can, we can do this. <laughs> uh, right, I think we need to probably send some guys into here. We can go horsemen into there. Uh, U12 should just, just pile into that straight away and horsemen in there as well. Can we just really just bulldoze this? We might be able to. Keep the guys handy. Yeah, I think this is I think this is going to work, and then we'll go and. That looks a bit scrappy down there, doesn't it? Should we... Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, they're not quite cut off though. Do you know this massive cut off is looking more and more like it's going to be a thing? Where's my um? Get all the mechanized stuff down there. The regular infantry should be able to cope with this. Where's the armor? I put them out to refit, but now would be almost too late to get them in. But I, I see this as being a definite thing. Right, so I'm going to railroad these guys into somewhere. Let's bring them in here. They'll find a way in. Do I want to... Oh, do I want to push for this now? This looks like it could be doable, doesn't it? We've got some tough stuff in there. Let's finish this off. Soviet Belgium has capitulated. Excellent. Uh, 
All right, I think we just need to push in as many divisions as we can here. We've got tanks coming around the corner. That looks like I'd be going across a river if I go in from this side, so that looks a little bit ropey. So what would I do? Am I going to go for... It's, it's that gamble again. Do I want to do it? Right, they're under attack in the meantime, so let's, let's hold off. Let's pile in there. And ten divisions of armour are going in as well. This is going to be the race. This is going to be the race right here. Let's see if we can do this. So we get... Um, ten divisions of mechanised. Where do I want to go? I'm going to go in a straight line. And let's see what the situation is there. I'm also going to expand this by taking the armour down here and cutting this line straight away. And then we'll probably need to reinforce here and then we can have a, a two-pronged attack on this port. And I, I'm hoping I can bring supplies in from there. But it might not be the case. Have we got... We haven't got this lot rumbled yet. Right. Everybody in. I mean, we're just going for an all-out brutal slog into here. But it's all looking green, so, I mean, that's, that's the good news, right? So we've got down. The mechanised is having to come through the mountains, so they're kind of stuck, but we're going to go straight in with tanks, and we're going to get this. And I think we're in. I need to hold this now. But we have... <laughs> That's... I'm going to let you guys watching on YouTube to just, just pause this. And if you want, you can count that up. We can probably zoom out, can we, and see? No, it doesn't show. It doesn't show the numbers. That's fine. We should have... They're trying to counterattack. Make sure we've got support going in there. We need the armor to go in. They're trying to break out now. I don't think they're going to do it, but they are They are throwing troops in. If I go one of these, I'm going to do this as a spoiler attack. Because it stops that lot trying to reinforce this. And the armor might fail, but that's fine. It should slow them down long enough. You need to get in there, son. This is almost like I need to throw something at this to stop this lot escaping. This is so desperate here. This is absolutely flipping. We've got regular troops in here now. <laughs> the armor's had to come to a stop. We're not going to get the... Oh, hang on. We might. I'm going to go that way instead. Screw it. We're going to chop these guys off somewhere. If we don't get the port, I am at least going to just surround everything here. Everything can help. Right. So, if nothing else, this is this is cut off now, which is fantastic. We didn't... Oh, did we not get in here? Uh, I better not move everything in there, otherwise that could go horribly wrong. Is that like a really tough... It could be just a really tough location to break into. Having said that, I think we've done a lot of these. There were some more outer ones there, weren't there? Did we get in? Please tell me we got into some of these. Come on. Maybe I shouldn't... Maybe that's a bit silly. We, I mean, they're moving on internal lines and all sorts of things, and they're getting there definitely faster than us. We've got it surrounded, which is good. Just make sure that this... I'm going to throw more troops in to make sure that this does does fall. But yeah, it's looking, uh, it's looking positive now. So everything in here is going to start getting very, very hungry. It wasn't quite the epic... It wasn't quite as epic because a lot of stuff did escape. 
Let's just make sure we've got these guys supporting this because um, they keep throwing troops into there and we, we desperately do need to get that um, that port. All right, this is looking like we've got this. This is another big cutoff, by the way. I mean, we're focusing on the one further south, but this is no mean feat. Actually, that would be a great, great name for a, um, a tropodist's business. No mean feat. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to go and register that. I think we should uh, sell that to some some upstart, um, some business upstart who wants to get going in the in the the feet care industry. <laughs> Someone must have done that already, though. I'm sure. Right, we're in. We've, I think we've got supplies coming in. Let's nip over to this. Put that to the top to make sure. And let's also railroad and make sure this is going to connect up to something like that. That's already maxed out. A uh, good move. A good move, I think. Infrastructure, we can also... We can't build on there yet. It might be a maximum anyway, looking at this, so that's good. But we can. No, we can't drop radar in. That's okay. It's doing its thing. Let's have a, a little look. Oh, wow. So the big attack on Boston never really came. Just for some reason, all the soldiers stopped. Um, and I suspect... That should finish that lot off quite nicely. Wow, we are carving out. I mean, look at the size of China now. It's amazing. So is this all... That is not crumbling like I thought it was going to. Let's uh, throw some more troops from there in. Come on, let's get everything in here. We just need to cram them up in the mountains and then... This is looking a little bit uncomfortable here, isn't it? Now that the armor has done its job. I don't want to risk getting cut off over there. Do I think four divisions can do this? I think they can. Because these guys are beat up quite badly. And then that's a nice little cut off there as well. This also... Let's... let's we have troops here, but it's not a proper front line. I just need to be a little bit careful with this. All right, let's see where we can start. In fact, everything there can just get stuck in. Keep throwing some soldiers forward. I think that's going to be the way to do the things. And just surround them, cut them off. You go in there, you give some support. You give some support, you guys support as well. That should fall. It's it's an awkward sort of surrounding, but it, it, it works. Right, can we just get all this stuff here? And just force it into there. Okay, let's go cavalry, let's go nine divisions. Let's go cavalry in there to help out. I think this is going to be a bit of a brutal slog fest if I decide to do it like this. Mountaineers. Mountaineers are what we need. Let's bring them in. Let's get them in where they're needed. So this lot is about to go pop. I think. I'll just keep throwing tanks in until this, this all crumbles out. And then we're going to draw some fresh lines because they're desperately going to be needed. Where's all the mechanized stuff then? Mechanized stuff. You can have a medal. Legion of Honor. 
So this, let's get them in. Let me find them. Come on. They're on front lines and stuff. We'll bring them in to, to clear this lot out. Why hasn't America fallen? Are you taking the Mickey? This is... Right. Surely... Surely that has to be the end of... Um, let me put one of these guys over in Providence and the other in Boston. And that must be the end of that nonsense. There can't be anything left. Oh, nice. We've got another one of our Amtrak troops. I don't know where I put them. See, I can, I can never find them. He wants to be in that force there. I've got so many armies, it's hard to keep uh, track of the whole lot now. Right, that front line's looking weak, but that's okay. We've got our Mountaineer troops in. Let them lead the attack in there. Apart from those, maybe. We've got the experts coming in. Oh, actually, we could... We can support from there as well. If we push everything into this. All right, this is going to look good. We're going to have loads of stuff going in. They're all about to get snipped off. I could be looking at this. Uh, let's have a look. It's, it's going to be supplies again. As we build supply hubs on the front line. We've got that lot going ahead. Did I not order those to be increased? We'll tie that up. How come America has not capitulated? What's the map look like? The flag, rather. The Communist States of America. I didn't see a notification for it, but it does appear to have gone. Right, so that was this army up here. And these guys are not really designed for uh, for this job. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put one army and they can take all the time in the world to get there. We don't really care too much. In each of these big cities. And they can... The whole lot can train up once it gets there. They're not really designed for attacking. I should change the template if I'm going to do stuff like that. So, going down here, we've got what we wanted. Let's trigger the naval invasion. <laughs> hey, we're off. We're off into Russia. From this side this time. Right, let's also snip out everything that's left down here. Because this, this needs finishing off. So, Mountaineers. And then we can throw in support from basically everything that's sitting around here. And I can't see those lot getting out of there, can you? Stuff's going to get overrun and smashed quite readily. Um, we're holding that. That's brilliant. Should I jump away? Let's attack here from two sides. It's starting to look quite sad, isn't it, for these guys down here? Did we... We did get the port, which means I have... I've had these in reserve for an awful long time. <laughs> these guys can now move in. And we can hold that bit. No, we can't, because I don't... I, I, is it this? Is that still stopping me? I can't travel through the sea. Okay. Let's get those six armor. Can we... I think that's going to go, so I'm going to wait till this is... This is filled up. And then, do I want to attack in from the north up here? Um... No, I think we'll, we'll snip those off last. I don't know where you're going, but you do not need to be... You don't need to be pushing in there. 
I just need to make sure that we don't have a situation where things are getting surrounded anywhere, because I've forgotten about them. And this is something that might... Oh, hello. Should we have a look? Should we have a look? Where's our... Where's our invasion fleet? There they are. What opposition do you think we'll find when we go in up there? <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned. I'm not going to lie. Let's give them some... Um... Oh, man. They must have everything, do they? Supply consumption. What about someone like this? Maybe they don't. We're filling them full of extra supplies just before we go into the, the breach. Because we know it's going to be a flipping desert of supply up there, don't we? There is no, no doubt about it. Right, this should be one almighty cutoff. Well, we can bring in support from all sides. So the Japanese holding that area, they're, they're obviously not going to hold it. Oh, actually, we can set one of these dudes off marching. He'll, uh, he'll eventually turn up there. Uh, let's throw those in then. Start to turn the screw a little bit. That lot's all going to go. It, it can't get out of there. There's just nowhere for them to go. Same with that. They, they can't escape. It's kind of brutal, isn't it? Big overruns. Big crushing defeats. And that should open up the railway as well to me. And then we can draw in some proper front lines again. Because we've got two, we've got two armies now on the go down here, which is what we need. So I'll, yeah, let's 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 do this. Let's go and check out Northern Russia. We're in. Excellent. It's gone a little bit weird. Let's do a proper front line, and let's go. Let's do this. And so they know that they're to go down there. And we just trigger that straight away. They're off. And we also get building maximum port. Uh, should we do maximum airfield as well? Maximum radar even? Maximum airfield would be good so they can bring stuff in. And we may as well do infrastructure. It is already maxed. Okay, great. I think that's it. And what about some AA? Because... We've got the factories for it, so let's let's just enjoy it. So they'll come in. We can. There's no point bringing more armies in over here. Not yet, because it's a very narrow strip of land, and we don't need more than 24 divisions to move down there. I think we can just let that go for the time being. Do we have a spare division here? We do indeed. I'm going to move all three of them. These are going to eat some supplies, but these are going to be to hold places um, that we take over and move past. All right, so the plan is coming together. The Soviet Union is slowly getting eaten up. We just need to get this bit finished. Let the mechanized troops get in on the kill. And the armor. And whatever was in there... That has cleaned it up quite nicely. Has it not? Good. Right, let's also take this army. I think, I feel like this was the one. No, actually this was the, this was the northern one, wasn't it? So I click on these. Right, that's the northern one. So what we do is we take the southern one. And we go halt, and we right-click that, and then we front line 
that. And they should then get into position. And at which point, the other army, we can totally redraw it to go and cover the north. It'll take a little while to manoeuvre this and we need to make sure we leave no gaps as we go. But this is also going to be a, a potential potential for all sorts of cut-off. I think we could... If we carved all that up, and these guys are getting hungry, if we carved through here, did the same again, then that would be just a vast amount of troops that we're just eliminating. Could we do it in a two-pronged attack if we bring armour in from the south? up to here and then more mobile stuff from the north i think we could do that i think we could so we have what would we what have we what's that telling us we've just created big marines should have <laughs> this one okay there's four of them um do you know what i don't have a job for the marines anymore so i'm going to drop them into that amtrak army It is 100% not going to let me do that for some reason. There we go. We've got them in. We can just about see what the difference is. Uh, you guys can train up as well. And then we'll bring them in when they're ready. Nice. So have troops started arriving in the north? They have. And then I've got to be careful with this. Because this is going to create a bit of a mess. We've got supply problems in the middle. Which is no, no great shock. Do you know what? I'm just going to accept the mess. Because this is going to make a sodding mess. Right, everybody. Halt. Right click. Get rid of that. This is, this is, the, this is the crunch bit. The sensible thing to do would have moved another army. Or assigned another army to cover this front. Or army group whilst and then i could have withdrawn well then i could have redrawn it without leaving any gaps but uh we're so confident that the enemy is not going to do anything and can't do anything that we're just going to go for it right that should be the last amtrak battalion so we'll find a use for them They've, we've got them on hand we're not training anything the civilian factories are certainly going to get put to use straight away so we 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 does this not is this not plugged into our network? I believe it's wait, it could be. It's just a problem with um let's also bring that whoops. Let's bring that down to there. Uh all right, I think that works. It's a mess, isn't it? Okay, so, I want to do the same again. I don't think the enemy army is in much of a state to resist. These guys are looking good over here. I think we take half of those and we... Can we knock that out there? If I chuck him in some support from those behind, we can. We cut that off. We get him because he'll be surrounded. And that leaves us the first sort of... Hmm. Yeah, we go for Tehran. Okay. We're going to pinch the whole lot off. <laughs> How successful do you think this is going to be? Don't retreat. Don't retreat out of there after I just fought my way in. I'm trying to push back in now. The enemy won't want us to do that because it is going to... Where are you going next? I would turn that on, which stops them shuffling around quite so much. But then that can leave gaps as well, so... Do you know what? This doesn't seem to be quite working as intended, does it? Also, it's totally unnecessary now as well. We're going to keep doing this until someone doesn't retreat out of there. I, th I think I think we just cancel the, the combat, to be quite honest. Stop. 
Okay, well, we're going to bring something heavier in to do the job for that. So what we're going to do, we're going to have something coming from the south and something from the north. 